It looks like another busy day in A&E. Patients wait to be assessed and treated. But take a closer look. This is in fact a living laboratory, a test bed that can be used to model improvements in patient waiting times. This is the first space that's been created in this country to bring together uh, real-world simulations and computer-based simulations aimed at improving service delivery. It's about clinicians having a, a space in which they can do stuff. What could they mock up? Um, A&E is an obvious area. Uh, wards could be uh, uh, mocked up. Um, theatre suites would be another interesting area, how you schedule um, suites of facilities, um, specialist units, ITU and places like that. Um, but we could, we're also very interested in uh, laying it out like a geographical place, projecting maps on the floor and laying it out like Slough or like Wales or like Manchester and look at how services would be delivered across a region. This was the official opening of the Cumberland Institute. And for these clinicians and health managers, it was also a chance to take part in a computer simulated challenge. Different hospital departments playing against the clock to make emergency care decisions without breaching that all important four hour target. It was a little bit pressurised in trying to all, all do the same questions, but I think it worked really well. And the modelling came out excellent. So we did, I think we worked really well as a team. So you can see how the number of patients in A&E affects the number of patients in the assessment unit and the wards and it's sort of a sort of knock-on effect. Also gives you an opportunity to actually see what's going on without doing it in a real environment. So it's a very safe way of looking at how um, patient pathways work. Most people work in very complex organisations and they only see their bit of what goes on and they don't necessarily feel that they can solve all of the problems, they don't see what happens upstream or downstream of their decisions. Um, so this enables us to play out a hospital in, in a virtual environment but with real people making those sorts of decisions and understanding how they could do that differently in order to improve the flow within a hospital. And hospitals already using modelling say the Cumberland Institute now gives healthcare staff the space to interact with virtual scenarios. At the moment the way we do it is we do it on computer screens and I think actually getting the teams in here to try it out you will pick up lots of things that could potentially go wrong which you can't pick up just from doing it in a virtual world and, and our clinical teams will get a feel for what it could be like and I think that's really important that they actually experience a change that makes their working life better and they know it delivers better for their patients. We have very big dreams for this place. It's an opportunity to think in a very different way and to move from reactive care to predictive designed care and that would make a huge difference.